everyone and welcome to the Mid Journey Experience. Today, we are going to be showing you Ideogram versus Mid Journey. So, ever since Mid Journey started showing up in the market, just about different kinds of AI tools just started popping up here and there. So, last year, around August 2023, there was this new image generation AI platform that came out, which is called Ideogram. If I am right, um, this platform was created by some Google employees. So I started learning it. And then let's see which one's better. If Midjourney is keeping its spot as the top image AI or is Ideogram the worthy competition. So let's get started. So what I did here is I actually put the exact same prompts in Ideogram and also in Midjourney. We did not use any modifiers, no permutation prompts. And this time I set the aspect ratio in 16 by 9, aka landscape. So nothing to enhance the generated images further, just the default settings and the default AI stylization for each platform. So let's go ahead and get started. So I started with the prompts detective, dark clothes with hat, comic style, cross etching, lamp post light, pronounced shadows and highlights. So again, set it to landscape 16 by 9 and let's go ahead and generate it. So here's our results. So yes, we are getting, we do have our detective here with the dark clothes and a hat, and then we have the lamppost. It is showing us the sketching. But what I notably noticed here is that it's actually very straightforward, not too much dynamic in the images. And it's just it, it's showing the detective and the lamppost. So let's see how it goes with Mid Journey. So let's just load it up. And yeah, color me impressed. This is actually kind of elevated compared to Ideogram's images. So you can see here there, there, is, there is composition. There's this rule of thirds going on. So you can see we're having splotches. The cross etching prompt is being used in different methods, different ways. There's a use of color and this one, this particular photo, I actually like. So let's go and move towards the hyper-realistic part. So we're, we already know that Midjourney is actually pretty good with creating hyper-realistic images, right? And based on that last article that I have written for you guys is that Midjourney actually fixed their hands algorithm and they can do hands properly now. So I tried using the hyper-realistic prompt in an ideogram with a strong course of action, which is a guy jumping in icy water with a green shirt. What I have noticed here is that ideogram still is having issues with hands. So if you've noticed here, we're having some alien-ish thing going on, three fingers and it's just not right. The hands are still pretty off. So let's go to the journey. Let's let it load a little. And if you can see here, they actually, again, they have story, they have composition. There's framing going on. There's something going on in the background. There's also something going on the front. Plus, again, the hands, the hands, they got the hands right. There's even lighting and highlights going on. Um, let's try creating logos. So let's use the prompt, digital illustration, shoe logo, 
Air Force One sneaker isolated red gradient on black background. So I think we are very specific here. And here we go. So what I've noticed with ideogram is that they didn't actually get the colors right, but I do look the, look like how this one looks. So let's go on mid journey. And as it loads, you can already see here. Yes, we got the red gradient on black background right. So they actually, again, mid journey is a smart kid. It can't guess what you mean. So you have to be very specific with it. So I like this shoe. I like how the red and the purple does this very smooth transition in the shoe. And then there's a dark background. It really uh, pops out. I like this one. Then let's move to the next. Our next one is vector style ice cream. Four colors only, no background. So I want the background to be as plain as it is. And it's a vector, so it's supposed to be simple. It's supposed to be easy to be mounted on prints. It's supposed to be like clip RT style. Let's take a look here and, and yep, this one. We have the ice cream scoops, which is kind of abstract. And this one is too up close to, but I find this image really hits the spot. It looks exactly what a vector ice cream with four colors looks like to me. And then let's try it on mid journey. So let's just let the image load. And here we go. So Mid Journey has a, some sort, um, kind of has a different interpretation of the prompt. I, we asked for four colors, so they gave us four ice creams with, with a different color each. But let's take a closer look into them. So this, I like this one. This one is too elaborate. I don't know, it looks like gelatin to me. Um, this one looks like those sundaes that you can buy as a kid. And this one looks like a sorbet. So maybe I'll go with this one as my favorite photo made on Midjourney. But between the ice cream from Ideogram and the ice cream from Midjourney, I think I'm giving my point to Ideogram this time. Midjourney has the advantage of existing longer. Midjourney is here before Ideogram. Ideogram also has the advantage of being newer. Because Ideogram is still new, there's still some leeway and there's still room for growth. So right now, Ideogram can do simple images really well. When you give it the prompt, it gives you the simplest possible interpretation of the prompt. But with Midjourney, as people keep using it, as people keep generating images, it has learned, again, AI machine learning, it has learned how to inter interpret the images more. And this way, they can give us a more elaborate interpretation of the prompt. They can already give us framing. They can already give us rule of thirds. They can give us story. They can give us elaborate highlights and shadows. I will tell you, the winner of this match is definitely my journey. But for Ideogram, I still hope to see more improvements in the future. And I would like to try out more of their features in the future. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this video and happy mid-journeying. Bye!